gonna sit so I don't fall. You're sitting. No, like the song like right there. Um I don't wanna like fall. I'm gonna sit on the ground. Larry, can you help me? having the seizure and stuff. 
I'm just so tired from all the seats we've had today. I just took an Ativan Lorazepam to help me with them, to calm them down. What? Okay. interrupted my video to you guys while I was in the trailer um, he just wanted me to get somebody's order I think they wanted a snow cone as I can remember um, but that was one of the last orders of the night and now we are just at the water we're gonna be here for an event tomorrow you can see all the boats stuck in should be a fun one tomorrow. Um, hopefully I feel a lot better tomorrow. Fingers crossed. So that I don't have a bunch of seizures like I did today. I can't believe how many seizures I had today. I had like five or more big seizures. And I've just been feeling awful all day. I've had a bad migraine today. Um, I took an Advil earlier. And then I took Ativan just a little while ago as well. So hopefully that Ativan really helps me. I can feel that it already is helping me a bit. Um, but yeah, it's now 10.45. I took my late night medication. I usually do. I took some carbamazepine and lecosamide. Um... I usually take that at 10 o'clock and I'll, then I'll take it again at 10 in the morning but I really just hope tomorrow will be a better just more successful day I was slacking so much today because of my seizures I remember before getting to the event today when we were driving there like right before getting there I had a seizure and then we had to like pull over on the side of the road. Um, a lot of these seizures I did have today too, we didn't even get them on film because I was alone for quite a few of them. Corey was at work today when I was having them. Um, and then the one where I had it on like the side of the road in the truck, like we just pulled over. I'm pretty sure we pulled over. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we did. It's just more common sense. Uh, the f I don't think the phone was recording when I, I gave it to Corey to just film me. Because near the end of the seizure, he said something like, Oh, the phone like wasn't blah, blah, blah. So I just realized that a little while ago. Um, but anyway... It's the end of like my menstrual time of the month and always during this time of the month, you guys know if you've been with me on this journey, I'm always at my worst when I have like these seizures. It's usually my worst time when I'm like on my period and, and just all this stuff. It's just, I always feel my worst at this time. For seizures and earlier this week I kept having right eye twitching in my eyelid my right eyelid kept twitching so much this week and it was driving me crazy I cannot take the feeling um, like I kept asking like people like what could help eye twitching go away um, because just my right eyelid kept twitching so much and it was driving me crazy. I cannot stand the eyelid twitching. If any of you have ever had eyelid twitching, I'm sure you can relate because it's just not good. It's just so annoying. Um, but we we're also thinking like maybe this eyelid twitching I kept having was like that maybe just a sign or something that these bad seizures were going to be coming on like I that I've had all these bad seizures today so that was maybe just like a little sign 
I don't know. There's so many things that like we think that that's why my seizures were happening or I don't know. So many different things with all these seizures. I was even saying on my last video, like I was just I wrote saying that like it's just so annoying how like with my seizures I just never know if my seizure is going to be a big seizure or a bad one when I'm going into the seizure when I feel the deja vu and everything I just never know if it's going to be a big or bad seizure I can never just expect it to be you know a, a big or a bad one and all these seizures today have been bad and it's just been just so exhausting the the last seizure video that I posted they were more small seizures in that video um, and I was feeling like more better that day so it's just a these seizures, when I get them, and they're like bigger ones, um, they're just so much more hard to deal with and handle because I get bad migraines after, and I'm just so much more exhausted. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. That's all I gotta really say for this video. Um, Yeah, I just want to go home and go to sleep, cuddle the puppies, have a nice bite to eat before going to bed, and mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a little while before we go back home, just like another half hour or so, I'm not sure, but... Or he's just out there talking to some of the festival people. But here's Corey. What were you doing just now? Talking to the vendor. Just got his free food for tomorrow. Oh, no, perfect. <laughs> See, that's what I just told them. You were out there talking to the festival oh, people. She had, oh, that's the other food truck. But she asked me, um, she asked me, uh, what, 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 she asked me where she was going at. And, Told her, and then she asked how we did, and then we got talking, and then she said, "Food's on her tomorrow." So said, "Come see us. The slushes are on us tomorrow." Nice. All right. It's a great community. You know, you think when I first started, I think like truck or not truck drivers, vendors were out to get each other and never would be cooperative with each other. But you know what? It's like a family. It's like a carnival food truck family. Like, you know how many times I've run out of ice and went to another vendor for ice and her. Give me, give me some bags and come pay me later or square up later or they come to me for stuff and that's that's a great world actually it really is well that's cool it's good to know everybody trades foods like it's on me it's on me or vendors get like a 15 20 percent discount on food so so are we gonna really have to worry about bringing a lot of food tomorrow well i would i know bring some of our own but she, she said she's gonna make me dill pickle fries all right i love dill pickle dill pickle is like awesome Alrighty, well, I think we're on our way home now. Uh-huh, it's a good day. Walk. It did. We did good today for the little town of Wheatley, Ontario. And for the little bit of help he got from me today. Yeah, I like it. I, I told them it's because of my seizures today, like, really, like, messed me up all like, day today. You were having bad ones today. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yeah, so I'm ready. I'm ready to go home. Put our buckles on. I'm going home. I'm going to try to eat some quick and pass out. So yeah, me too. I'm going to go get some Oreos for deep fried Oreos and maybe some pancake batter because I really don't know if I'll have enough tomorrow. All right, well. This, and this is, we've already gone through two Costco bags of pancake batter this year and usually I only go through one a year because mm -hmm. now we advertise, we advertise the Oreos more, so we're get well, I'm just going to relax in my heated seat for the way home and hopefully we'll make some more videos this weekend and I'll see you guys in the next video.